Hi everyone. In the last lecture, we learned how to install Firebase and integrate it into our app. Now we're ready to implement the sign up feature using Firebase. Firebase supports multiple authentication methods such as email, password, Facebook, Twitter, GitHub. In this video, we'll use the email password approach. In the dashboard of Firebase, on the left hand side, choose authentication. Then choose the sign in method section. By default, all authentication methods are disabled. So let's click email password, then enable it. All right. Once this is enabled, we're now ready to implement the sign up and authentication feature. For email login, we need to create Firebase users first before we can log them in. In our app, after users sign up their accounts, the app will switch to the tab bar controller. The key point is that users must be authenticated by Firebase before they can see the tab bar views. So the idea is after creating an account and saving it to the da database, we do it by hitting the sign up button in the sign up view. Okay, we've created an IB action for the sign up button. Note that the app needs to perform all the tasks we've just discussed after one single touch on the sign up button. We will create a Firebase user when the sign up button is hidden. Let's grab the Firebase authentication toolbox by importing the Firebase authentication. Okay, now type auth dot in an instance of this class, which simply returns an instance of the auth class. Then call create user method. Let's input some dummy email and password to experiment with the method. Firebase will then create an account for the user using the email address as the user ID. Auth data result and error are objects we receive back from Firebase after the Firebase user creation process. Auth data result will contain all information of the user we've created, so it can check if this error is nil. And auth data is a non-nil object. We simply log the email to the console, which is test1 at gmail.com in this case. All right, let's go ahead and create a new user. Click on the sign up button. We should see the test1 at gmail.com in the console. Very good. Now go back to the Firebase and hit refresh. We'll see a new email address under the authentication section. Fantastic. Okay, let's go to the database tab. As we discussed before, after creating an account, we need to save it to the database, but our database is empty for now. Let's check the start in test mode to access to the database. Okay, we need this database to store, retrieve all the data, including authentication information stuff. All right, we'll finish this sign up business next time. See you then.